hello and welcome to my youtube channel and in this video tutorial i want to fix an error in the previous tutorial and then you can see in this we cannot in this app you cannot see the hint text for the email and in this is this is because in the method that i used to build the text field i return a container if it is not a password that i'm uh, if it is not a password field i'm creating and this container what happens is that this container is passed to the surface icon property of the test field and the container will try and take the available space it can get at the surface icon so what this is actually doing is is covering the whole uh, available space of the test field so instead of returning a container what i want to do is return no and then this means we are not returning any widget at all so when i control save and hot reload you should see the email there and i also want to make sure that i can toggle the visibility of the password field so if i go into my password now and i type you still see it but then i want to make sure that when it is visibility of you don't see the text okay so let's do that to start with that there's a property of the text field called obscure test and what this obscure test does is it takes in a, a boolean value either true or false so when set to true that means you can't see the text when typed in so now when i type in you can not see the text and when i also go into the email you can see the text but here's the case that we don't want to do that for the email because we don't want to obscure text for the email so to do that i'll have to check whether i created the test field for a for an email or for a password so to do that let's check hint text and i'll check if it is a password if it is a password then sorry if it is a password then i can make sure to obscure test for password say true else i don't want to obscure test false so let's see Controls. Uh -huh. So now you can see, you can see the test for the email, but not for the password because here I check if it is password, and it because it's password, I'm I'm getting true here, right? So I can see the test for the password. Now, how do I make this thing go true false? So now that means if I bring this one to false. I check the test will come back if I bring, bring it back to true the test go off so that means I have to find a way to change this value from true to false and false to true so to do that I'll write I'll create a variable to hold this value here so to do that I'll say cut this one off and then say it's hidden here so this will be the variable i want to hold the value inside and that should be a boolean variable so up here i can say bool sorry there's an underscore so it's hidden and i can say that to the true that i copied so now this is still the same and you see we didn't get any error and the app is running fine so how do I change it? I want to create a method that can actually toggle the value for the is hidden variable. So to do that, I'll say void toggle visibility. You can call it any name you want. I want to call it this one. And now to change the state of this variable, I actually need a set state the set state method 
but to actually use the state state method you always need to be in a state full rigid before you can change the state of any variable um, we are already in a state full rigid so there's no need to make any changes here we have to call the set state method and then now I want to change this the value of this variable so I will say it's hidden and then we we, do, we can't just say false if you say false that means anytime the button is click it will be false but what I want to do is that I know that this will return this is having true so anytime it, it, it is click I want to change or negate it so I can say it's hidden yeah and then this will always because of this sign it will always negate whatever value inside so if here is false then when i click the but uh, when i call this method this will change to what true if here is true when i click this will change to false if here is false it will change it true again so now i just need to find a place to call this method or run this method so inside my test my method for the test build test field where the icon button is i can uh, i can call this method i can call the method on the on press so i can say toggle visibility and then i don't need this parenthesis here sorry i don't need this parenthesis here because i don't want to call this method immediately when this one call when this one is called so I have to remove the parenthesis and this one works fine so I control save and hot reload and now when I click on the button on the visibility button you can see I can toggle the test but also I want to change the icon when I toggle with the visibility so what is that what is the icon here's the icon so i want to check if the text is hidden if it's hidden hidden then i can say visibility of so it's hidden then visibility of else visibility on but you can just put visibility so if i save and hot reload you can see now i have the visibility visibility so when I click again the visibility off comes because we can't see the test so now this is working fine also I want to change the font family for the logo test here and also change how a different font family for this test so to do that I went to Google to download this font Pacifico and then there's another one called the Ubuntu and then this is the Ubuntu I downloaded the two font families here so you can also do that when you download it you get a zip file I've already extracted the files here so I, all I need to do is to make sure that I get them inside my project so I have them here I created a folder in the main root called assets and then I created another folder inside the asset and then copied these two fonts inside the font folder and for this to work for these two fonts to work I actually have to go into my prospect.yml and then make sure I declare them here so let's uncomment this code here and now here see the family is just the name of the uh, the name you want to give to their font so you have to just let this one and this asset means the path to your font so it is inside my assets folder and then fonts folder and then the name of the font is pacifico sorry pacifico regular.ttf and I can also do the same for this one I have to change this one to Ubuntu and with this one too I just have to delete this side and then I can also say assets 
slash forms and then here to any day ubuntu slash ready hyphen regular dot edf now control save it to public to get the packages okay now we have all the packages there so now inside our main code I can set the main family font family I want to use for the whole application and I can do that say for in the team data font family and then I say you want to want to use you want for this when I do this this will affect any text inside the app so to override any font family in the app then I have to make sure I set a font family for a test that I want to override or a test I don't want uh, the main font family to affect so now in my logo I want my logo to have a different font family so to do that come into the tester and then say font family and I say Pacific now if I control save and hot reload you will actually not see any changes the reason is the reason is when you add anything inside your prospect.yaml you all uh, you when you add um, fonts inside your prospect.yaml you have to in fact restart the whole application so let's close this and then restart the application okay now we have our app so you can see now the the style of the logo test has changed and also the style for this test has also changed so thank you for watching and um, please don't forget to subscribe Thank you.